Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So today we are going to talk about the uh, Affliction Warlock. We are going to uh, do a beginner's guide to the Affliction Warlock, which we're going to cover a lot of the rotation, um, the soul shards, soul burn, soul swap, things like that. So the Affliction Warlock is a class that you want to maintain dots. So you're trying to maintain a couple spells on your target, similar to a Feral Druid where you're trying to... Uh, uh, keep up your bleeds what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep up our damage over time spells So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply my damage over time spells to kind of show you the rotation So I'm here I'll apply my dots and Then I'll apply a haunt and then as a filler. I'll use my drain soul Drain soul now as you can see these up here. This is when I should be starting to refresh these dots because they're about to come off. That's when I'll do my refreshing. And that's when I'll build that uh, uh, that big pressure with it just continuously going and going and going. And that's pretty much the rotation. It's a fairly simple rotation. But it's a very difficult to rotation for a lot of people. So even myself. To maintain these dots the entire time. Because if your dots fall off. Well you're losing so much DPS. Whether you're doing PvP, PvE. It is such a DPS loss if your dots fall off. So it's very important to keep them on. Now, as you saw, I used Haunt. And what Haunt does, it increases the target's uh, damage over time spells by 30% for 10 seconds. Now, this consumes one Soul Shard. As you can see, I have four up here. Let's talk about Soul Burn to Soul Swap. It's a good spell. Soul Swap is a really good spell, but the problem that I see is it consumes two shards. It can uh, it takes away two shards right in the beginning. I don't like to be down two soul uh, soul shards right in the beginning of a fight, or whether it's PvP, PvE. But it is a good burst um, if you need that big burst. So it's good to get all of them down, throw a haunt down, and you're good to go. But one thing that I do like to do is when I spread dots. Let's say I spread these dots here. Let's say um, I'm here. I apply my three main dots. And then I switch over to my next target. And I apply my three main dots. And then I go ahead and hit this ability here. And then I go ahead and hit a haunt. Now what this does. This, when you use Soul Burn to a haunt. What it's going to do is it's going to increase... The damage over time spells on all targets by 20% for 30 seconds. Super amazing. That's what I like to use it on when we're doing a, a big pull. When we have a multiple targets that uh, aren't going to die immediately. I like to spread the dots and uh, you know it just works really well for me. So to recap some of these things. Maintain dots. Um, your three main dots are your... Uh, your agony, your corruption, and your unstable uh, uh, affliction. These are the three dots that you want to maintain. Um, it's never good to let them fall off. Falling off is a really bad thing. Um, but the m most thing that you do not want to happen is you do not want your agony to fall off. If your other dots need to fall off, let them fall off and reapply. But agony does not want to uh, fall off. And the reason for it is what I'll do is I'll put my agony... And as you can see, what it does is it starts to stack. It stacks up to 10, and once it's at 10, it's going to do the maximum DPS that it can do. But if you let it fall off, you're going to have to start back. So see here, I'll refresh it to keep it there. If I let it fall off, it's going to restart at 1 and have to build all the way back up. So that's one dot that I do not want to fall off um, if I have to pick and choose for some reason. So... Alright guys, hopefully this little uh, beginner guide helped you guys out. If you guys have anything else to add, make sure to leave it in the comments. I didn't talk about any cooldowns or anything. I just wanted to keep it with the basic rotation. Super, super basic for anybody that's new trying to work these out. Obviously, your Dark Soul is a great, great cooldown for you guys. Um, it increases your haste by 30% for 20 seconds. Always be using these when you're trying to uh, burst burst cooldowns beginning of the fight pre paw do your do your thing whatever but like i said it's a beginner's guide keep up your three major dots haunt it up afterwards 
Make sure to keep those dots rolling and do not let them drop off. All right, guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe, share the video, do whatever you guys got to do, and I'll talk to you guys soon.